People are pretty funny sometimes. I find it entertaining, I guess. I guess that's the word. That, that I can come on YouTube, stand up and make a video uh, on minimum wage, my last one, and just make some people pissed off. Man, what is he? This guy's talking blasphemy. Minimum wage going away. Oh no. What would we do? My wages, they're going to go down. <laughs> okay, if, if minimum wage, if you're making above minimum wage right now, that means employers have the right to take your wages down to minimum wage. And they're not doing that. So why would taking the bottom out make them suddenly make your wages go below that? I, I don't know. I don't know. I explained a basic, I believe, to the best of my ability, a basic fundamental of economics in that setting the price of something could be bad. And it, I, don't, I think I did a pretty good job of doing a basic explanation of that fact that I consider to be a fact. No, I don't consider it to be a fact. It is a fact. It's either a fact or it's not a fact. It is a fact that if I want to do something for a price and somebody wants to give me money for that and somebody else comes in and says, no, you have to do it this way, they're taking it right away from me and the guy that wanted to do it our way. That's a fact. <clears throat> it would be like, I mean, don't get pissed off at me for telling it like it is. If somebody works on a big, tall building and I explain to the best of my ability what gravity is, 9.8 meters per second squared, you know, all the things it's a force that pulls us down. All the little basic things about gravity. Don't come screaming to me that you suddenly realize that, oh man, if I fall off of there, I might die. Yeah. It's just the way it is. It's not a good idea. It's the law. It's the way it is. The way things are shouldn't make people mad. Ah, but we're talking about YouTube, aren't we? We're talking about the intranets. People don't act like they act in real life on the internet. Me included. I'm no exception. I'm getting more comfortable looking into the lens and talking for 10 minutes without having to stop every two seconds and saying, oh, that's going to sound dumb. You might think it sounds dumb anyways, but uh, I kind of like them. I kind of like my videos of getting the hang of it. I like to hear myself talk about stuff. I think we all would like to hear ourselves talk about stuff. and Hopefully other people will say, wow, hey, I agree with that too. Oh, we want everybody to agree with us. Some of us, though, aren't going to have a very good or easy time with people disagreeing with us. But I think it's funny when people get mad at me. I really, honestly, if everybody agreed with me, I don't think it would be as much fun. <laughs> it, there's, the, the ones that I love, though, are the ones that, and, I, and I, don't, I haven't run across too many of these myself. I see them to other people. The, the freaking cowards on YouTube. Cowards fall into a special category of their own. They're not just trolls. They're... I have one in particular. I don't even know the username. Uh, guy that... I guess maybe... It. I don't know if it's a he or a she. I think maybe he slash she posted on comments where, you know, other people can read them. But I get these personal messages sent to me. I shared with the people that view my videos the little fact that my wife is from South Korea. 
I might have said in one or more videos that she's from a different country or something like that, but she's from South Korea. And, and here's this guy, apparently doesn't like Republicans. The enlightened liberal that he might be has to tell me that my illegal alien whore of a wife will be sent back to her country where she came from if the Republicans remain in office. Oh, I just love the kind, gentle, and soothing feel of the liberal mind in America. And I'm not trying to say that all liberals are like that, but lots of them I run across they're so tolerant. Unless you're a conservative, by God. Let's be tolerant of everybody. What? You're voting for McCain. You're going to hell. Except there is no hell, because there is no God. There is no heaven. But we're tolerant of everybody else. No, you're a Christian. No, you're... Get that cross away from me. It's going to burn me. They're not very tolerant. They call... Oh, we'll be tolerant of you as long as you're like us. <laughs> I mean, what's the point? But I digress. I want to talk about the people. Uh, I got a couple of comments. Well, what about, what about this? What about that? What about this? Some people ask me, why don't you make a video to this guy? Why don't you make a video to this guy? But the ones that uh, think that I'm supposed to explain the ways of the world and based on my one video, I guess asking questions of me isn't bad, but they're trying to play gotcha. And like my example in the minimum wage was, I thought was pretty good. $100, nice even numbers, like I said, I, I used $100 a week. I mean, minimum wage, five, let's say, that's gonna be way more than 100 bucks a week, right? So when I asked at the end, I made a smart ass comment about, come on, Christopher, don't be coming in and saying, well, you can't get beer for a dollar a case. And then 666 guy tries to nail me down and says that I'm being a hypocrite because he asked me what I would do if all of a sudden I was making $5 an hour. I said, that's just not realistic because I didn't just drop into today. I got a mortgage that I'm paying. I mean, I planned these things out. My life just didn't start yesterday. So to put some arbitrary, oh, $5 an hour. I said, that's not going to happen to me. It wouldn't happen to me. I'm not suddenly going to start making $5 an hour. It just isn't going to happen. Not only am I not going to just make $5 an hour, I have to get rid of my pension. That was another part of the... Well, what would you do if he knows I get a pension from the military? You don't get that anymore, plus you only get $5 an hour. What you gonna do then? It's not realistic. What if I make $5 an hour? Well, how much does bread cost in your scenario? I gotta know these things. The numbers that I used, it was just to show, compare it's $100, it, was, it all made sense. But my dad used to make $90 a week when I was a young boy. I remember that. He got a new job and he more than doubled his wages. He moved up. He used to be a mechanic in a garage. There used to be a lot of those, you know. They started going away. He had to find other work. 90 bucks a week. Uh, we made it by. We got by. Couldn't do that now. I couldn't do it on 90 bucks a week. but So I'd have to know some other things. But don't call me a hypocrite. And the boom comment. Well, if I can't be funny, what's the point? I mean, I guess I'm going to, I hate this 10 minute limit, really do. Because I, I mean, I'm no good at making like, like that drinking with Bob guy that could just get on there and yell at you for two minutes. I, I should start trying that. Nah, talk to you later.